Hello students, welcome to grade 12 chemistry revision lesson on acid base equilibrium. In our today's lesson, we will learn about acid base concepts. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to give examples of arrhenous acids bronasted lowry acids and lewis acids give examples of arrhenous bases bronasted lowry bases and lewis bases identify the acid base conjugate pairs from a given reaction define what is meant by amphiprotic species acid base concepts. There are three ways or systems for defining acids and bases in current use. These are arrhenous concepts of acids and bases. The second one is broadest lowry concepts of acids and bases. The third one is lowest concepts of acids and bases. Let us see each definition or system one by one. The first one is the Arrhenius concept of acids and bases. Sivante Arrhenius, he was a Swedish chemist who framed or gave the first successful concepts of acids and bases. According to Sivante, Arrhenius an acid is a substance that ionizes in water to produce hydrogen ion or hydronium ion. Acids produce hydronium ion in aqueous solution. Acids increase concentration of hydronium ion in water in aqueous solution. If you take the acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, HCl, in aqueous solution, produce hydronium ion or hydrogen ion plus Cl minus. Therefore, according to Arrhenius definition, if a substance produce H plus in aqueous solution, that substance is an Arrhenius acid. Arrhenius base it is a substance that can produce hydroxide ion in aqueous solution. You can take sodium hydroxide as an example. Sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide in aqueous solution increase concentration of hydroxide ion, produce OH minus in aqueous solution, sodium plus plus OH minus. Therefore, sodium hydroxide is Arrhenius base. Bronasted lowry concept of acids and bases. This is a more general definition of acids and bases. Because Arrhenius has some limitations Arrhenius definition is limited to only aqueous solution, but there are a number of reactions that can take place in gas phase and non-aqueous solvents. Now, bronasted lowry concept of acids and bases is a more general definition than Arrhenius definition. According to bronasted concept of acids and bases, an acid is a proton donor. Acids donate proton to other substances. This is an acid, HN, donates H plus to the other substance. Example, look at this reaction. The reaction between hydrochloric acid, HCl, aqueous plus water, H2O, liquid, now hydrochloric acid is a bronasted lowry acid because 
It donates hydrogen to water and gives hydronium ion H3O plus Cl minus. According to Bronasted Lowry concept, beds are proton acceptors. Therefore, acid base reaction is a proton transfer process, a proton transfer reaction. You see, an acid donates a proton to the base, and a base accepts a proton from the acid. Beds are proton acceptors. This is a base. Base plus H plus gives HB. This base accepts proton. Strengths of conjugate acid base pairs. If an acid is strong, its conjugate base is weak. You can take hydrobromic acid as an example. Hydrobromic acid is a strong acid. Is a strong acid. If it loses a proton, what is formed? Hydronium ion or hydrogen ion H plus and Br minus. Now Br minus is the conjugate base of a strong acid, hydrobromic acid. Hydrobromic acid is a strong acid. Its conjugate base is weak. If an acid is weak, its conjugate base is strong. You can take acetic acid as an example. Acetic acid, CH3, COOH, aqueous in water, gives, this is a weak acid, acetate ion, CH3, COO minus plus H plus. Acetic acid is weak acid. Its conjugate base, acetate, is strong. Similarly, the stronger the base, the weaker it is conjugate acid. The weaker the base, the stronger its conjugate acid. You can take ammonia as an example. Ammonia, NH3 plus water, H2O, liquid. Ammonia is a weak base, dissociates to a small extent and gives ammonium ion, NH4 plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. You see? Ammonia is a weak base. Its conjugate acid is strong. This is strengths of conjugate acid base pairs. Examples. Identify the acid base conjugate pairs in each of the following reactions. A. Dihydrogen phosphate plus ammonia gives monohydrogen phosphate plus ammonium ion. Dihydrogen phosphate is a bronasted lowry acid because it donates a proton to ammonia. Now this is an acid. Acid. Acids are proton donors. Ammonia is a base because it accepts a proton from dihydrogen phosphate. This is a base. Base. Hydrogen phosphate is conjugate base of the acid dihydrogen phosphate. This is conjugate base. Conjugate base. NH4 plus is conjugate acid of the weak base ammonia. This is conjugate acid. Therefore, dihydrogen phosphate and monohydrogen phosphate are conjugate acid base pairs. Conjugate acid base pairs. Ammonia and NH4 plus are also conjugate acid base pairs. Conjugate acid base pairs. B. Carbonate plus water gives hydrogen carbonate plus OH minus. Carbonate is the base. Why? Because it accepts a proton from water. This is base. Base. Water is an acid. It donates a proton. It gives a proton to carbonate is acid. 
acid. Hydrogen carbonate is conjugate acid of the base carbonate. Therefore, this is an acid. OH minus is conjugate base of the acid water. Water. Therefore, carbonates and hydrogen carbonates are conjugate acid base pairs. Water and OH minus are also conjugate acid base pairs. Acetate plus water gives acetic acid plus OH minus. Acetate is the base. It accepts a proton from water. This is base. Base. Water is an acid. Acid. It donates a proton to acetate. This is an acid. Acid. And OH minus is conjugate base of the acid water. Base. Now, acetates and acetic acids are conjugate acid base pairs. Conjugate acid base pairs. Water and OH minus are also conjugate acid base pairs. Number two, write the formula of the conjugate base of hydrogen sulfide. As we said, if an acid lose a proton, the resulting substance is conjugate base of the given acid. Therefore, hydrogen sulfide H2S, when it donates or lose a proton, what is formed? H plus and hydrogen H s minus is formed now h s minus is the conjugate base of hydrogen sulfide h s minus h s minus hydrogen sulfide formic acid the conjugate base of formic acid is formate ion h c o o minus is the conjugate base of the weak acid formic acid NH4 plus, when this acid lose a proton, the substance formed is ammonia, NH3, and NH plus. Therefore, ammonia is the conjugate base of an acid NH4 plus. Amphiprotic species. Species which may either gain or lose a proton are known as amphiprotic species. Act as both an acid and a base. You can take this as an example. All these are amphiprotic species, have both properties of an acid and a base. Dihydrogen phosphate, H2. Dihydrogen phosphate H2 PO4 minus can accept a proton plus H plus and form phosphoric acid H3 PO4. Dihydrogen phosphate can also lose a proton, give a proton to other substance. Dihydrogen phosphate H2 PO4 minus. When it donates a proton to other substance, the resulting compound or substance is H plus and HPO4 2 minus. You see? Therefore, H2PO4 minus acts as both an acid and a base, which is known as amphiprotic species. Hydrogen sulfate is also amphiprotic species can accept and donate a proton. HSO4 minus, HSO4 minus plus H plus gives sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Wait, when it donates a proton to other substance, HSO4 minus, it gives H plus, and sulfate ion SO4 2 minus. The same is true for ammonium, hydrogen carbonate, 
hydrogen sulfides and monohydrogen phosphates. All these are amphiprotic species. Amphiprotic species are species which may either gain or lose a proton. Lewis concepts of acids and beds. Students, as we said, the first successful conceptualization of acids and beds was given by Arrhenius. Arrhenius' definition has some limitation. A more general definition of acids and beds was given by Bronsted Lowry definition. Bronsted Lowry concept. An even more general definition of acids and bases was given by G. N. Lewis. According to Lewis concept, according to Lewis definition, an acid is a substance that can accept a pair of electrons. A base is a substance that can donate an electron to other substance. Species that accepts a pair of electron is electron deficient species. Therefore, for a substance to be a Lewis acid, it must have vacant orbitals. Categories of Lewis acids or examples of Lewis acids the first category of Lewis acid is compounds with a central atom with an incomplete octet. Compounds having less than eight electrons on the central atom. For example, beryllium chloride is an example of Lewis acid. Take this as an example, beryllium chloride, Be, Cl2 plus 2Cl minus 2Cl minus gives B in Cl4 2 minus. Look, beryllium chloride is a Lewis acid because it accepts pair of electron from chloride ion and form BeCl4 2 minus. Now this is Lewis acid. This is Lewis base because according to Lewis definition, bases are electron pair donors. This is a base. base. The second category of Lewis acid is substances capable of expanding their outer octets by using MPT d orbitals. PCL5 is an example of Lewis acid because it can accept pair of electron from the donor. Look, PCL5 plus CL minus gives PCL6 minus. Now PCL5 is a Lewis acid. Lewis acid accept pair of electron from Cl minus. Cl minus is electron pair donor, is a base. Lewis base. The third category of Lewis acid is simple cations that have impeti valence orbitals. Cations such as copper 2 plus, iron 3 plus, and Ag plus are examples of Lewis acids. Because they have MPT orbitals, can accept pair of electrons. You can take this as an example: Ag plus Ag plus plus ammonia to NH3 to form Ag NH3 two plus. Ag plus is a Lewis acid. Lewis acid. And ammonia is a Lewis base. Donate pair of electrons to Ag plus. Therefore, Ag plus is an example of Lewis acid. The fourth category of Lewis acid 
is metal atoms that can form compounds like carbonyls. The best example of this is nickel. Nickel reacts with carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide to form carbonyl compound nickel NiCO4. Nickel is a Lewis acid. Carbon monoxide is a Lewis base, can donate a pair of electrons to nickel. Therefore, nickel is an example of Lewis acid. The fifth category of Lewis acid is compounds with a central atom containing multiple bonds. Examples, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and sulfur trioxide are examples of Lewis acids. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide plus water, H2O, to form the acid carbonic acid, H2CO3. Carbon dioxide contain a multiple bond, act as a Lewis acid. This is an acid. Water, there is a lone pair of electrons on the central atom, oxygen, can donate pair of electrons to carbon dioxide. Now this is a base. Sulfur dioxide plus water gives sulfurous acid. Sulfur dioxide is the lowest acid. Sulfur trioxide plus water gives sulfuric acid. Therefore, compounds with a central atom containing multiple bonds such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and sulfur trioxides are examples of Lewis acids. Lewis bases, they are electron pair donors, have excess electrons. Therefore, for a substance to be a Lewis base, it must have pair of electrons on the central atom. Students, let us try these questions so that you can practice what you have learned. You have two minutes. Good. Let us do together. Identify the Lewis acid and Lewis base in each of the following reactions. M, BF3 plus PH3 gives this compound, which act as a Lewis acid, which substance act as a Lewis base. BF3 act as a Lewis acid. 
This is a compound with a central atom less than eight electrons is an acid. pH3 is a lowest base because there are lone pair of electrons on the central atom phosphorus can donate pair of electron to this is a base base b nickel plus carbon monoxide gives nickel co4 metal atoms that can form carbonyl compounds are examples of lewis acids therefore nickel is a lewis acid carbon monoxide is a lewis base H plus plus water gives hydronium ion. H plus acts as an acid because it has a vacant orbital, can accept pair of electrons from water. There is lone pair of electrons on the central atom. Water can donate pair of electron to this. Now H plus is a Lewis acid. This is a Lewis base. Students. In our today's lesson, we discussed acid base concepts. There are three ways of classifying acids and bases in current use. These are Arrhenius systems of defining acids and bases, pronounced Lowry concept of acids and bases, and Lewis concept of acids and bases. We also learned about amphiprotic species. Amphiprotic species are species which may either gain or lose a proton. They act as both an acid and a base. This brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.